Hello, and welcome back to the Peak Oil Prognosticator channel, where we put energy efficiency in its place. That's right, today we are talking about Jevons Paradox. I know what some of you are thinking, what is Jevons Paradox? Well, I'm glad you asked. Jevons Paradox, also known as the rebound effect, I actually didn't know that until I researched it, energy effect noted by a famous English economist William Stanley Jevons. In 1865 he published a book talking about the use of coal. Basically the paradox goes like this. As you become more energy efficient you end up using more energy. Now this is a paradox. You would imagine that as some that is a type of energy got more efficient that you would use less energy but this is not the case. This was noted when Jevons saw that new in innovations in the efficiency of coal actually led to its increased use among industry. The general line of thinking is that energy cost per unit becomes lower with efficiency gains, which means quantity demanded for the resource will increase. And that overall, you will use more of a resource. A good way to conceptualize this idea is in the graph above. Imagine your car became more efficient. The theory states that you will drive more than before. Why? Because in a relative sense, the energy, most likely oil, is cheaper per unit, so it makes more sense to drive more. A real world modern example is, let's say, cars in the 1970s to modern 2015 cars. Modern cars have come leaps and fucking bounds from the muscle cars in terms of efficiency and oil use. Yet despite all that, American consumption of oil has basically doubled since then. Even though per capita use is lower, overall use of oil is much higher. One might argue that this is because the economy and population are still growing. To which I would respond that the economy of England during Jevon's time was also growing, as was their population. So in other words, it, it stands in either case. The other thing I hear a lot is that eventually energy use will become so efficient that the paradox won't work anymore. In other words, eventually you will need significantly less energy to get the same amount of economic input or, I mean, the same amount of economic output, excuse me, or at the very least, the same amount of energy, but somehow 100% renewable. Which I think is, is quite a silly idea, considering it basically ignores the first law of thermodynamics. Energy cannot be either created or destroyed, only transferred and changed. This is, in my opinion, the single greatest reason why peak oil will spend will spell the end of industrial civilization. Not to mention all renewables are largely based on fossil fuel anyway, so fat chance of that working. I bet they didn't teach you what I just told you in any documentary you watched on global warming. This is some real inconvenient truth right here. I kid, I kid. But yes, that's Jevons Paradox in a nutshell. Use more energy as you become more efficient. Oh, what a pickle we're in. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and also support me on Patreon. Link in the low bar.